The Official Handbook of the Marvel Universe, Volume 1, Issue 12, From Valkyrie to Zax. Valkyrie. Real name, Brunhilde. Occupation, former chooser of the slain, now adventurer. Identity, her godhood is not acknowledged by the general public. Legal status, citizen of Asgard. Former aliases, Barbara Norris. Place of birth, Asgard. Marital status, single. Known relatives, none. Group affiliation, gods of Asgard, the Defenders. Base of operations, New York area. First appearance, as Enchantress, Avengers number 87. As Samantha Parrington, Incredible Hulk number 142. As Barbara Norris, Defenders number 3. As Self, Defenders number 109. Origin. Brunhilde was a goddess of Asgard of unknown parentage who was selected by Odin at an early age to lead the Valkyrior, Choosers of the Slain, a group of nine Asgardian warrior goddesses who would appear over the battlefields of mortal Viking warriors and choose which of the fallen were worthy to be taken to Valhalla, the land of honored dead in the dimension of Asgard. See Appendix Valkyrior. Brunhilde served Asgard capably in this capacity for several centuries, approximately 600 to 1000 AD, until Odin was forced to cease virtually all intercourse with the Earth in accordance with a pact he and his fellow godheads made with the extraterrestrial Celestials. See, Celestials. Barred from Earth, Odin was forced to disband the Valkyrior. The nine goddesses went their separate ways reluctantly, finding other employment and diversion in Asgard. Brunhilde, however, took the dismissal bitterly and roamed Asgard in pursuit of something meaningful to do. In a tavern in the outskirts of Marmoragard, Brunhilde met Amora the Enchantress, who offered her a life of adventure. For several weeks, Brunhilde accompanied the Enchantress on her conquests. Brunhilde soon realized Amora's inclination toward immorality and tried to save their partnership. Amora expected Brunhilde's betrayal, however, and used her magic to entrap the warrior goddess within a mystic crystal of souls. While Brunhilde's body remained in suspended animation, her immortal soul became Amora's plaything. Over the centuries, the Enchantress used the Valkyrie's essence to give the Valkyrie's powers to herself or to her pawns. The Enchantress usually used her magic to alter the recipient's appearance to resemble Brunhilde herself. Specific accounts of Amora's exploitation of the Valkyrie before recent years are not yet known. The first time Amora assumed the Valkyrie's aspect in recent years was in a plot to lead a handful of female superhumans against the male Avengers. Her true identity was discovered, however, and her plan thwarted. Months later, the Enchantress bestowed the Valkyrie's power upon a socialite named Samantha Parrington in an attempt to get revenge on the Hulk. Finally, a woman driven mad by being trapped in another dimension, Barbara Norris, was given the Valkyrie's power and consciousness by Amora in order to help the Enchantress and her erstwhile allies, the Defenders, escape from the clutches of the sorceress Cassiolina. Amora did not undo her spell on Norris after Cassiolina's defeat. As a result, Norris's body now possessed Brunhilde's consciousness, appearance, and powers, while Norris's own mental essence was trapped in Brunhilde's real body in Asgard. However, thanks to partial amnesia induced by the Enchantress, Brunhilde was unaware that she was not in possession of her real body and memory. It was not until a minor Asgardian warrior named Olieros attempted to take over Valhalla that the Valkyrie's two mixed aspects met for the first time. Brunhilde's mental essence in Norris's transformed body fought Norris's mental essence trapped in Brunhilde's real body. At the end of the encounter, the Valkyrie's body with Norris's mind still within was consigned to the fiery pits of Niflheim, the Asgardian land of the non-heroic dead, while Valkyrie's mind in Norris's body accompanied the defenders back to Earth.
For reasons yet unknown, the Valkyrie was not concerned about reuniting her mind and body at that time, despite this tantalizing opportunity. It was not until after Barbara Norris's body was murdered that the Valkyrie's spirit and mind were inadvertently freed from its mortal host. With the help of Doctor Strange's magic, Brunhilde regained her true form, which was rescued from Niflheim by the Enchantress. Barbara Norris's spirit was taken into custody by the embodiment of love itself. In her own immortal body, after a millennium of separation, Brunhilde battled Amora and banished her into the Crystal of Souls in which Brunhilde had been trapped. Feeling estranged from Asgard in general, and Odin in particular, for their neglect of her centuries-long plight, the Valkyrie chose to return to Earth with her mortal friends, the Defenders, rather than to remain in Asgard. The Valkyrie has remained a staunch member of the Defenders. Height, 6 feet 3 inches. Weight, 475 pounds. Eyes, blue. Hair, blonde. Powers. The Valkyrie possesses the conventional attributes of an Asgardian woman, or goddess. Like all Asgardians, she is extremely long-lived, although not immortal like the Olympians, superhumanly strong, the average Asgardian female can lift about 25 tons, the Valkyrie can lift 45 tons, immune to all diseases and resistant to conventional injury. Asgardian flesh and bone is about three times as dense as similar human tissue, contributing to all Asgardians' superhuman strength and weight. The Valkyrie's Asgardian metabolism gives her far greater than human endurance at all physical activities. She can exert peak strength for an hour before fatigue impairs her ability level. The Valkyrie has had extensive training in unarmed combat, swordplay, and horseback riding. Her natural fighting ability is unsurpassed among Asgardian women. Weapons The Valkyrie employs two weapons, the enchanted sword Dragonfang and an unnamed Iron Spear. Transportation The Valkyrie rides the mutated winged horse Aragorn, a gift of the Black Knight. See, Black Knight.